Wendy is Walter's mom. She's a police officer. She's smart and tenacious and funny in her own way. She's really warm. Um, she's very brave. Wendy, as Walter's mother, obviously loves him very, very much and supports him in all of his adventures, even though sometimes they annoy her a little bit when they get in the way of their lives. Glitter bombs aren't fun for anyone. <laughs> uh, but most importantly, she encourages him to be himself in all of his weirdness, even if that means that other kids make fun of him. She tells him that the things that make him weird right now are going to be his superpower as he grows up. I think that's one of the most important lessons that she teaches him that carries through the film. Yeah, everyone's weirdness is their superpower. Everyone's weird in their own ways. There's no such thing as normal. And it, it can be so hard when you're growing up and, and everyone's striving for this idea of normalcy that just doesn't exist to let your freak flag fly, to be yourself in the face of everything else. And I think this movie is so lovely because it shows that the things that might seem like they stand in your way when you're young become the thing that, in Walter's case, literally help him change the world. And that's something that can be true for anybody. We used to make potions where you would run around and, and pull all kinds of different ingredients from anywhere in the house, like shampoo and salt and food coloring, your mom's very expensive perfume, and lotions, and, and anything that you could mix together in a bottle, and we would dare each other to drink it. We didn't. That would have been very, very unhealthy, I think. <laughs> yeah, no, but I don't, I don't know if you could call that an invention, but we did used to make potions growing up. <laughs> I loved working with Nick and Troy. I, I only got to spend a short time with them over a couple of sessions, but it was such a collaboration finding this role. It was really special to be able to walk into a space where um, I felt like I, I knew instantly how important this role was to them. And so in turn, it was important to me to be able to do it justice. And we just played a lot. We tried a lot of different versions of every line and and had a lot of discussions about how the choices we were making would shape this role and ultimately shape the film and Walter and, and what kind of story we wanted to be telling. I've enjoyed every second of working with them. I love that you can make weird, weird faces that you would never do on, on live camera to manipulate the sound of your voice. There's, there's endless freedom in voice acting. You can create characters that are so different from yourselves and it's always an adventure. It's also always nice to get multiple shots at it. You know, you can try a lot of different things and it can it can shape a character and a performance in a way that's just different from, from anything else I've ever done. I hope that people laugh. I hope that they feel encouraged. Um, I hope that they feel particularly encouraged to be themselves, to to be comfortable and confident in who they are, even if it even if something that they love might seem weird to other people. Uh, I hope that they that people leave feeling like exactly who they are is enough, and is not only enough, but is something that makes them special and powerful, and and can maybe help them change the world one day.